accelerated learning binaural beats. Listen to these 30 project management terms to study for the ARE 5.0 project management exam. Play the audio before you sleep or when you wake up in a relaxed state. These terms are taken from the Architect's Handbook of Professional Practice, Chapter 10 and Chapter 13. Repeat the word and use your imagination to apply the word to what you already know. Let this guide you, knowing you will succeed. Let's begin. What is the only time the architect can stamp drawings? Per the Model Rules of Conduct, published by NCARB, the architect shall sign and seal only those technical submissions in three instances. The first are those technical submissions that were prepared under the architect's responsible control. The second is to sign and seal those submissions not required by law to be prepared by an architect, including information supplied by manufacturers, suppliers, installers, contractors, or from the architect of records consultants when that information is intended to be incorporated into the architect of records technical submission and the architect of record has reviewed information and can reasonably trust its accuracy. The third is an architect of record may sign and seal prototypical building documents prepared by an architect licensed in any U.S. jurisdiction, but only if the architect of record determines that such documents are in compliance with the requirements of the project's jurisdiction and incorporates them into the architect of record's own technical submissions. Meetings a client may attend. A client may attend the executive meeting, design review meeting, and project kickoff meeting. Statute of Limitations Statute of Limitations is a statute specifying the period of time within which legal action must be brought for legal relief after an alleged injury or damage has occurred or been discovered. The lengths of these periods vary from state to state and depend upon the type of legal action. Statute of Repose Statute of Repose is a statute limiting the time within which an action may be brought without relation to whether injury has yet occurred or been discovered. The time begins when a specific event occurs, such as substantial completion of a project, and the statute of repose may extinguish the remedy even before a cause of action has accrued. Conformed Construction Documents Conformed construction documents are revised to reflect all changes issued by addenda during bidding but prior to the start of construction. Preparation of conformed construction documents 
is an additional service to the architect's basic services. Variance. Variance is a limited waiver from the requirements of a zoning ordinance that may be granted because of special circumstances regarding the subject property. Value Enhanced Design Value Enhanced Design is the process of analyzing the elements of a building design in terms of its cost effectiveness, including the proposed substitution of less expensive materials, or even systems for those initially suggested or higher quality materials or systems for the same initial cost. Value Analysis Value Analysis is an organized effort directed at analyzing systems, equipment, facilities, services, and supplies for the purpose of achieving essential functions at the lowest life cycle cost, consistent with the required performance, reliability, quality, and safety. This is also known as value management or value engineering, VE. Submittals. Submittals are documents and physical samples prepared by the contractor, subcontractor, suppliers, or manufacturers that describe in detail how the contractor will construct the work and is submitted to the design professional for review and processing. Submittals are closely scheduled and coordinated with the project construction schedule and include shop drawings, project data, physical samples, and similar submittals, which can include coordination drawings, details, calculations, and other supporting data as specified. Site Observation Report. Site Observation Report is referred to as a Field Observation Report, a written description of the architect's observations of the work during a visit to the project site. Shop Drawings Shop drawings are drawings, diagrams, schedule, and other data specially prepared for the work by the contractor or a subcontractor or a sub-subcontractor, manufacturer, supplier, or distributor to illustrate some portion of the work. Schematic design. Services in which the architect consults with the owner to ascertain the requirements of the building project and prepares schematic design studies consisting of drawings and other documents, illustrating the scale and relationships of the building components for approval by the owner. The architect also submits to the owner a preliminary estimate of construction cost based on current area, volume, or similar conceptual estimating techniques.
Request for Information or RFI. Request for Information is a documented process of requesting information from the owner, architect, or contractor on the project. Request for Qualifications, or RFQ. Request for Qualifications is a document describing a project in enough detail so that potential providers of services or products can determine if they wish to compete. Building owners typically issue RFQs as part of a two-stage process in which an RFQ is followed by the issuance of an RFP. Request for Proposal or RFP. Request for Proposal is a document of solicitation in which an organization publicizes that a specific project is available for companies to place bids for the project's completion. This document typically summarizes the bidding process, contract terms, and provides guidance on bid format. Typically, the solicitation is open to a wide range of bidders to create open competition. Retainage. Retainage is a sum withheld from the progress payments to the contractor and later paid in accordance with the terms of agreement between the owner and contractor. Record drawings. Record drawings are construction drawings revised to reflect and represent the actual conditions of the project as it was constructed, usually based on marked up prints, drawings, and other data furnished by the contractor to the architect. This term is also referred to as the as-built drawings. Proposal Request Proposal Request is a document issued by the architect to the contractor after the contract award, and it includes drawings and other information used to solicit a proposal for a change in the work. Sometimes it's called a request for a change or a bulletin. Project Closeout Project Closeout are requirements established in the contract documents for substantial and final completion, submittal of required documentation, and acceptance and final payment on a construction project. Project Checklist Project Checklist is a list used to record the actions taken by the architect beginning before the agreement with the owner has been signed, continuing with the range of services to be provided to the owner. For Building Design and Construction Services, AIA D200 Project Checklist lists the actions for pre-design, design, and construction increments of work. Pre-qualification of bidders.
pre-qualification of bidders is the process of investigating the qualifications of prospective bidders on the basis of their experience, availability, and capability for the contemplated project, and then approving qualified bidders. Pre-design services. Pre-design services are services of the architect provided prior to the customary basic services including services to assist the owner in establishing the program, financial and time requirements, and limitations for the project. Post-occupancy evaluation. Post-occupancy evaluation is an evaluation by an architect of the performance of a building. Application varies widely in scope as an evaluation may take place at any time after the building is occupied and may address one or more aspects of the performance of a building. Performance Bond Performance bond is a bond in which the contractor and the contractor's surety guarantee the owner that the work will be performed in accordance with the contract documents. Payment bond. Payment bond is a bond in which the contractor and the contractor's surety guarantee to the owner that the contractor will pay for labor and materials furnished for use in the performance of the contract. Persons entitled to the benefits of the bond are defined as claimants in the bond. This is also referred to as a labor and material payment bond. Notice to proceed. Notice to proceed is a written owner's directive issued to the contractor, authorizing the contractor to proceed with the work and establishing the date for commencement of the work. Notice to bidders. Notice to bidders is a notice informing prospective bidders of the opportunity to submit bids on a project and setting forth the procedures for doing so. Master Spec. Master Spec is a master guide specification system owned by the American Institute of Architects and published by the ARCOM for use on a building. Measured Drawings Measured drawings are drawings prepared in the process of measuring a building for future renovation or as historic documentation. They are created from on-site measurements. Measured 